welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do my April, is that right? Yeah, April favorite beauty products. And actually I have some skincare stuff in here too, which is different for me. And then I actually have one product that is just a total miss for me for the month. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this skincare product, which is my only skincare product this month. And this is the Origins High Potency Night Amends. And this is a nighttime face moisturizer. And if you saw some of my tutorials in wintertime, you would literally see like cracked, disgusting skin. I mean, I still definitely have some like texture on my skin from my face being so dry, but I just have the driest skin. I've talked about it a million times and I just wasn't finding anything that was working for me. I actually think I was getting allergic or I was reacting to a ton of the face moisturizers I was trying. And so I was watching Kathleen Light's skincare video um, just because everything she says I will buy because I think Kathleen Light has the best opinions on products and just everything. So she was talking about this, how this is her favorite nighttime moisturizer of like all time and she has dry skin as well. So I just knew I had to pick it up and I actually got the travel size. This is like a deluxe travel size because it's one ounce and I think the regular one is 1.7 ounces. But on Sephora, the like regular size is $45 or something. And I got this on Amazon for like 15. So if you do the math, this actually turns out to be way cheaper. Um, and I'm actually like almost completely done with it. And so I really need to purchase another one, but it just really has changed my skin. I will put it on at night and wake up in the morning and my skin just feels so hydrated. So if you have dry skin, I would definitely suggest checking this out. Now, moving straight on to makeup products, I wanna talk about this NYX Glitter Primer, just because, like you can see on my eyes right now, I have glitter on my eyes, and I just feel like glitter has been so popular lately. Um, and this is actually a festival makeup look that I filmed for y'all. It might be up before this video, so hopefully you'll see that. But yeah, so I have been in love with this glitter primer. It makes your glitter stick so well and like just really makes it so you can pack it on. I really haven't tried any other glitter primers, but I just don't feel a need to try any other ones because this is so good. Um, so if you're in the market for a glitter primer, check this out and it's only like $6. All about those deals. So the next product is a new product for me. I got this at Target. It is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette and my shade is in Dolce de Leche. I don't know. I'll leave it down below. I can't pronounce anything. There's another shade of this as well. And the other shade though, this color is more yellow. And then this color is more warm. So I chose this one because of this contour color. I just like the ashy tone of this better. And really I use this lighter shade some, like I used it in this makeup look today to just clean up my contour like underneath. But really I am obsessed with this palette for this contour shade. It is like $5 I think, and it is a matte bronzer, a matte contour shade. I think it's honestly one of the best ones from the drugstore. So another NYX product I have is this um, NYX eyebrow gel. This is in the shade blonde. And if you have been watching my videos, you will know that I have been addicted to the e.l.f. I think eyebrow kit in the shade medium. I've been using that probably for like two or three months, which is a really long time for me to use just one product. But then I got my hair dyed blonder. And so I felt like the medium was just a little too dark for my hair color. And I don't really like the e.l.f brow kit in the blonde shade. I just feel like it's way too red. So I picked this up instead and I'm honestly so much more in love with this than I was with the e.l.f brow kit. This just like fills in the sparse areas of your brows so much easier. It keeps your brows like glue. You do not need like a brow gel or anything after this. Honestly, when I'm washing my makeup off at the end of the day, like I have to scrub my eyebrows to get this stuff out because it has that strong of like a staying power. The only thing that is annoying though is it's like a squeeze tube. So you have to squeeze this thing out onto something and then be able to like dip your brush into it, which is just kind of annoying because I don't always have something sitting out that I can squeeze products onto. So I would like this a lot more if it was like in a pot version, but regardless, I still like it a lot and it is like $6 as well. Finally, my last NYX product, I didn't realize I had so many of these, but it is this NYX Butter Gloss. 
and this is in the shade Fortune Cookie. I saw this on, um, what's her name? Laura Hallberg. Laura Hallberg. She's like this amazing, amazing makeup artist. She has a blog and a YouTube channel, I'm pretty sure, but she's like mainly on her blog. But she's like all over Instagram, all, all over Pinterest. She comes out with like the most beautiful artsy looks and the most beautiful natural looks. Like she's just major girl crush or major makeup artist crush for me. But I saw that she was using this on one of her more natural looks on her blog. And so I ended up picking this up. These NYX Butter Glosses are just such a great formula. They stay on your lips forever. And this is just my ideal natural gloss shade. So this is it right here but I can literally pair this on top of any lipstick, no matter how dark or light, and even just like in the center of my lips, and it looks great. Now, my favorite highlighter of the month has been this Mary Luminizer by The Balm. It's what I have on my face right now. I'm not sure if you can see, but I have just been using this stuff so much. Compared to my other highlighters, like my Becca highlighters, I think it's a little bit more chalky and those are a little bit more buttery, but I don't mind it really that much. And it is just such like a great shade, like it's a great tone. It's like a little bit goldy, golden, goldy. It's a little bit golden, but it's not like champagne pop. Sometimes I feel like champagne pop is almost too gold for my skin. And this is more just a light beige champagne color. So yeah, I just love this a lot. I feel like I can layer it on and it just looks great on the skin. Moving on to my favorite brushes of the month. Ooh, not that one. Where'd you go? Miss you so. Feel like it's been forever since you've been gone. So I finally made a order on morphebrushes.com. I'm sure you've heard about it. To purchase some brushes, the only reason I've been putting it off for so long is because they have like $8 shipping. Like that's ridiculous. And you have to spend like over $100 to even get free shipping. But I finally did this month and oh my gosh, I literally have not stopped using these brushes. First is this Morphe 441 brush. And I've actually had this for a while because I ordered it off Hot Look forever ago, but I just felt like I needed to give it a mention just because I never really give it a shout out. But it is an amazing like blending brush. And sorry, these are dirty because I just used them, so and because I don't wash my brushes that much, even though I really should. So next is this Morphe M433 brush. This has been raved about all over YouTube because it is a great lower crease brush. It is a great outer V brush. It is just such a universal brush that I don't know how I ever lived without it. It is raved about for a very good reason. Lastly, for my Morphe brushes is this M432 brush and this is just a flat liner brush you can see it is super flat and like skinny at the top and this has been my go-to brush this month for putting shadow right underneath my lash line it is just so perfect to put like a dark shadow so precisely there and to be able to blend it out with another brush again this is another one of these brushes that I don't know how I lasted this long without one so if you have watched my tutorials at all, you probably have noticed that I use the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge in basically all my videos just because with brushes, all the foundation brushes I own, or the majority of them, they leave streaks on my face versus a sponge which does not leave streaks at all and will make sure my foundation doesn't go on cakey at all. But I ended up picking up this e.l.f. brush. It is the ultimate blending brush. It doesn't have its name on it but I picked it up from Target, it's $6, which is a little bit more pricey than else typical brushes, but it is so worth it. It has a huge face and it's pretty dense that I can just get my um, foundation on so smoothly. This is great if I'm wanting like more coverage than my Real Techniques sponge would give me. It's just so much easier to not have to get up, go to the bathroom to wet my sponge to be able to use it when I can just pick this up and throw my foundation on super fast. For the one disappointing product that I had this month it is actually a hair product and this is the Tresemme Dry Shampoo. I picked this up probably two months ago now and I go through dry shampoo so fast but this thing is almost basically full. Every single time I use it, 
I just feel like it does not make my hair feel cleaner at all. It literally makes my hair feel more oily if that's possible. Like I will spray it on my hair and then like, you know, wait like two, three seconds, whatever, and then brush it out like you're supposed to with every other dry shampoo. And it just, it does not work. I swear. It's like so stupid. Like this is stupidness in a bottle. And I have used it before and I just don't know why I bought it again. And I'm just never, ever, ever going to buy this again because it sucks. And so what I have instead been doing is using just regular old baby powder. This is the Refreshing Magnolia Petals baby powder because I despise the smell of regular baby powder more than anything in this entire world. So I like to get a scent so that it doesn't smell like that bad. I mean, it's not like amazing, but it smells way better than regular baby powder. A lot of times I'll put this throughout my hair, like pack it into my hair at night and then I can wake up in the morning and my hair like does not feel oily at all because I am one of those people whose hair gets oily so fast. So I'll use this and it works a million, a million, like 500 billion times better than this little shit. So that is all of my favorites and not favorites of the month of April. I hopefully will have a ton more favorites up in May because it is my birthday month and I'll be turning 21. I actually turned 21 in 12 days, which I am like so pumped about. It's like crazy, but I will be like working in May. So I will, you know, be buying a lot more products. So I will be able to try out a lot more stuff and hopefully have a lot more favorites. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see in my next video down below. Yeah, I hope y'all have a great day. Bye.